Hey YouTube fans, today I'm making black match with my black match machine. It's all 3D printed. And uh, black match is sort of a fuse that you use when you're making fireworks and you don't have any better fuse. Uh, so what it really is, is a fairly simple thing. And its main job is it drags threads or strings through uh, a mix of water and uh, black powder and dextrin, which is kind of a glue made out of starch. And uh, yeah, it basically is a device that just drags all the strings through the goo and then drags it out the sizing die, which scrapes off the extra. And as you draw the strings through, they all get coated in burnable stuff and then you let it dry and you've got a fuse. This is an open SCAD model. It's uh, sort of programmed uh, rather than drawn. And it can handle multiple changes in size. You can change the overall size. You can change the number of spools of stuff you're using. Uh, it's all very adjustable. I would say this one is a bit toy sized because using three, uh, using four threads only you get a very thin black match, but it still works properly. Uh, so these have been wound on to these individual spools. Uh, I did that by sticking a drill in the middle and uh, winding on thread until it was full. And the other thing I did with this is I took these spools and I submerged them in a saturated potassium nitrate solution. So these are already saturated with potassium nitrate and they're moist. So they're not going to have a tendency to suck out the water and the potassium nitrate from the slurry that we're going to use to cover the threads. The other important thing you need is this black goo, which is a mixture of uh, what's called meal uh, and dextrin. And uh, it's a 10% dextrin by weight. And then it's enough water to make it uh, into kind of a thick, what is this, sort of a pancake batter type consistency. And uh, a little isopropyl alcohol has been added as well. And it's funny, the isopropyl alcohol actually reduces the solubility of the potassium nitrate, which is the only soluble thing in here. So the... Um, the isopropyl alcohol is like a thickening agent, which, you know, in, when, when this is saturated essentially with potassium nitrate, if you reduce the solubility of the potassium nitrate, everything gets thicker. So it's, it's a weird, it's a thickener. Can't be all alcohol, doesn't work. So the next step is we're going to put a layer of goo into this tray, which I've chosen because it a nice fit on the machine although uh, you could also choose your tray and then program your machine to fit the tray uh, so we're going to put some slurry in there we're going to put this on into the slurry this is sort of a simple retainer that keeps your spools from falling out and then it all gets stuck together with elastic bands so I've got about a, I don't know, maybe four or five millimeters of this goo on the bottom of the tray. And that was really a, a key thing for me. I wanted to keep the path of the strings extremely low to the bottom of the container. Because that's really how much stuff you need to use, right? you got to keep enough to cover all the threads. and So this uses a maybe... Um, Around 50 grams of meal uh, is enough to, to use this for quite a while. So that's fairly efficient. I've seen other machines like this where, you know, filling the machine is like a pound of meal, which is a lot of meal. All right, setup is complete and we're ready to pull black match out of this thing. Um, there's a lot of ways to draw this out and let it dry. Um, a really good way is to put it on a frame 
like you make yourself a big square frame and you kind of roll roll the stuff on. I didn't do that. I'm just using a couple of sawhorses and I'm working outside on a nice dry day and uh, this doesn't take long. So step one is I've tied one end of this onto a sawhorse and now I'm just going to proceed by dragging along and you can see as I drag black match comes out and I'm going to just loop over this sawhorse and go back and forth until I'm out of stuff. Okay so in a few minutes there I made many passes back and forth making pieces of black match that are say four uh, feet long and uh, I would say there's about 20 here so there's something like 80 feet uh, of fuse and uh, when these bake in the sun for say half an hour they'll be ready to go we'll test them okay here are the finished pieces of black match all cut to straight lengths ready to store ready to test Okay, here's a piece of the finished black match. You can see it's really quite thin and uh, we're gonna burn it. And you can see it's it's dry, it's stiff almost like a wire. Um, we can flex it but it's a bit fragile. The old one-handed burn burns up, burns down, This is a piece that I've beaten up a little bit, so let's see how it copes with the copes with the trauma. So even after a little bit of flexing, oh it's having a little hold fire there. Even after a little bit of flexing it's uh, still quite a effective fuse.